question 26 so the structure of x given here uh, which row is correct so now we have the numbers of uh, sigma bond in x and the type of hybridization of carbon in the x um, so first let's start with the sigma bond uh, in order to get the sigma bonds uh, in this uh, x uh, it's better to use the, the display uh, formula um, so in this uh, display formula uh, on this structure so we know that uh, there is a uh, one uh, double bond and one triple bond in one double bond uh, we you need to know there is one sigma bond one pi in this uh, cn triple bond this is a nitrile group uh, in this uh, cn triple bond it has a uh, one sigma two pi so now uh, we can get the uh, these uh, total numbers of sigma bond uh, so it's one two plus four so total six sigma bond inside so it's just c or d now let's uh, get the hybridization of carbon inside this uh, x um, so let's start with this uh, cc double bond uh, so because the carbons here uh, is form three sigma bond and one pi bond okay so we just look at this carbon this carbon and this carbon uh, the hybridization uh, is the same okay this carbon is form three sigma bond one pi so when it's form three sigma bond so we know that you need to use a uh, three uh, unpaired electron in the hybrid orbitals so means it needs three electrons or three unpaired electrons and it must be in the hybrid orbitals is telling us that uh, it should be or it must be sp2 here so means the four valence electron in the carbon three of that will be in the hybrid orbitals so means now one s orbital and two p orbital they uh, undergo hybridization and form these hybrid orbitals so these three electrons will use to form the sigma bond uh, with others and there will be one electrons in p orbital and this one used to form the pi bond so we are uh, now quite clear that uh, the hybridization for these two carbon uh, is the sp2 hybridization how about this carbon the carbon that in the nitrile group so from here we can see there are uh, two uh, sigma bonds and two pi bond um, with this uh, carbon so this carbon is has one two two sigma bond and two pi bond so when it's two sigma two pi is telling us that uh, in order to form the two sigma bond it must be two unpaired electrons in the hybrid orbitals means it must be sp hybridized so means one s orbital and one p orbital okay they will undergo hybridization and form these uh, two hybrid orbitals and in this hybrid orbitals it has two unpaired electron and this one is used to form sigma bonds with others uh, in this case is to form sigma bond with the carbon here and the nitrogen here and of course uh, there are two unpaired electron in p orbital uh, this one is used to form the two pi bonds here right here so it's quite clear that uh, inside x the carbon hybridization they are sp and sp2 sp is for this carbon so this carbon is sp and these two carbon is uh, sp2 so it's a uh, sp2 hybridization Okay, that's all. Thank you.